Hello, welcome to our video demonstration of ProLiance Analytics dashboards. So today's short video, I'm going to show you how you can construct a dashboard using some of the content library that uh, and, and dashboard widgets that we've shipped with ProLiance. So let's get started. So here I am in the ProLiance Analytics dashboards workspace and I'm just going to click on create new. And now this takes me to the dashboard designer. And the dashboard designer is real easy to use. You can see it's all uh, in my web browser and it's all drag and drop. And over on the right hand side, I have the content library full of the system widgets that, uh, that ship with ProLiance. So I'm just going to drill into our budget and cost widgets. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag over one of these prompt widgets. Now, what the prompt widget widgets do is they set the workspace context which means that in this case, I'm going to set the project that I want to run my widgets on. So I'm going to pick Lakewood Retail Commons as my project widget. Now, whenever I drag over an additional widget, it's going to run it for the project Lakewood Retail Commons. So the next thing I'm going to drag over is my budget by grouping code. So ProLiance has all sorts of grouping codes. This is just one of them inside of the, that we've configured. And you can see that it's, uh, it's showing me my budgets by different uh, types of disciplines with architectural design, site construction, terms and conditions, and so forth. And it's got it in a nice uh, little donut chart format. So I can drag additional components over. For example, I can drag over one of our reporting code widgets. And now that's going to run a similar report, but now by reporting code, and this time it's going to use a bar chart. The next one I'm going to drag over is my budget releases list. So not only do we support uh, all sorts of charts, but we have list widgets as well that uh, are useful if you've got a, a list of a list of data that you want to show. And I've got just one more or two more I'm going to do. I'm going to show the budget details. And again, I'm just dragging and dropping, browsing over my content library, and then placing the widgets on my uh, dashboard in uh, in a way that makes sense for me. And maybe just one more here, which is the transfer bar chart. Now you can see that uh, just hide my content library, and now I've got a nice dashboard with all the widgets that I think are important to me. And again, it's all personalized, so uh, different people can have different widgets and uh, and see just the data that they need. Now, one thing to understand here is that uh, I can switch my report and my dashboard to a different context and all the widgets will refresh automatically. So I'm just going to switch this to my community schools. And you can see all the dashboard widgets have now refreshed and are showing me different content because I'm now in the $139 million budget community schools project. And just switching back to Lakewood Retail Commons, you can see I'm back in my $30 million budget for Lakewood Retail Commons. So there are a few other things that I can do with my dashboard. Um, one of the things I can do is I can actually go ahead and sort of email out this to um, one of my colleagues. And they'll get a link to this dashboard so that I can share it with someone if I think that uh, they're also interested in this information. I can share it in my own personal folders or I can share it in a shared area, and uh, save it to a shared area and make it available to other people on my project team. And so I can export this out to PDF. So I just click on here, go export to PDF. And I think that's hiding there at the bottom. So let me just close this window, click open, and there it is in my in PDF format. Um, I can also change the format of the chart if I like. So I can change on the display, and now that's going to change that to a different type of chart. In this case, it's a bar chart. Uh, so lots of uh, different features over here. For example, if I want to get this into an Excel list, I can just click this and export to Excel as well. So as you can see, designing a dashboard is real easy. And just to give you some taste, here's another example of a dashboard that you can build. This one is laying out uh, all the different widgets. I can put a nice header on there and basic and, uh, and stylize it and, and get a, a layout is, uh, is pretty sophisticated. So that's the ProLiance dashboarding features. Thank you.